Hello folks. Very, very good news. I have the first program sent to the machine. Awesome. And this is just a simple test. Uh, and I'm running at 50% speed and almost zero rapid feed, rapid traverse, I mean. But it's still awesome. Uh, I made the program using Fusion 360. It's pretty scary having the spindle turn over 3000 RPM. And still having the door open. Uh, I really have to replace these plexis. I mean, it's polycarbonate because you cannot see a thing through that window. And I also need some lights. Uh, let's see, maybe this was the last facing pass. Let's see. Ready to press feed hold all the time. Okay, I think it's gonna do one more facing pass. It should make six of them. And this should be the last one. Hoping to feed right just a bit. And let's see if this is the first profiling cut. It should be taking one millimeter depth of cuts. Running really slow and careful because this is the very first time I'm actually doing something. Now this is the last one. You can see profiling starts here. So this is gonna be the last one. Let me pause here. Okay, that was the, the final facing cut and now for the profile which is the same as the uh, OD uh, it may return to the home position first yes it will it's 100 millimeters from the face of the stock and I think it's yeah it's rapiding so now it should be starting to cut the OD. Yeah. So here we go. Feed rate should be 0.2 millimeters per revolution. Everything looks safe so far. Okay, I think I'm now confident enough to up the spindle speed. It's now at 100%. Let's try a little more rapids. Seat is not breaking, but otherwise pretty good. That bird's nest is gonna fly soon. Okay. Lowering the cutting speed. I think the insert might actually be done for. Okay, I pressed 
field hold. Let me clear, clear the chips. Okay, chips clear. The insert still looks fine. Let's switch on the chip conveyor. So, rapid traverse at at minimum. So let's continue. Still not breaking the chip. Actually, uh, that insert has no chip breaker, so it's no no wonder it it's not breaking the chip. It's really scary. I really have to get new window for the door. Let's try a bit more feed. No, it doesn't help. And that's the insert that came with the machine. So it must be ancient. It also looks ancient, having no chip breaker at all. Okay, some more chip clearing. Just a minute. Awful chips. And you can soon see the profile that it's making. It's just a simple test that I quickly figured out. Lights flickering again. <laughs> and the finishing pass. Let's see what happens now. It's homing again. And this should be the end of the program. Yeah, it's going back to back to machine zero huh. we got a lighthouse so the first part awesome doesn't look too bad well actually the surface finish is terrible oh the insert has lost the edge completely okay no wonder Let's Oh it's really hot also also But the part itself looks looks just like it should Exactly as I model it Awesome So this means the CNC lathe is now ready for work I just need to get some proper tools for it Well there's nothing wrong with the tool holder it's a nice Mitsubishi holder, and I also got some inserts for it, so I'll just swap the inserts. And let's see if our dimensions are anywhere near what they should be. Haha, <laughs> nice chips. I think this should be 30 millimeters. It's 31, so that's that's pretty much off. The inside is just just destroyed. <laughs> okay, I wonder why because the cutting speed should be okay, and it's just mild steel that I'm cutting. So I want to try that with another inside. Okay. But the machine is working, which is so awesome. <laughs>
Mm. And if you want to know uh, what was wrong with uh, the data transfer, uh, actually it's such a long story. If you want help, contact me. I, I won't let you know it now. I won't tell it to you now because it, I, will, I will just bore you. But if you want help, I can try my best. But let me show you something else that I just figured out, which is quite awesome as well. The tailstock is working. And it's given an alarm for over travel, but it goes away when I retract it. And what I did, I uh, adjusted these uh, pressure regulators. So there's, you can set the pressure for uh, for the hydraulic chuck and also for the tailstock. So the more gripping force or or uh, and the more uh, tailstock force you need, you can change it here. And this one right here is for the speed control of the tailstock. And uh, there was something wrong with this switch, so it was kind of stuck. Um, so when I jiggled around with it a little bit. Uh, Actually, it was very weird. Uh, at first, nothing happened, but uh, then I was doing something completely else. And all of a sudden, the tailstock wheel just pops out. Uh, and uh, when it came out for the first time, uh, I tried adjusting the speed, and um, and um, it was it wasn't smooth at all. So it was rocking back and forth. Uh, but when I uh, uh, when I run the quill a few times, oops, it's trying to suck the suck the chips back in, which is not good. Terrible chips. So so after a few tries uh, back and forth, uh, it now works perfectly. And what I think happened is, uh, as some of you suggested. Actually, the commander was uh, Duro20. Uh, he just suggested that the tailstock wheel might be stuck. And I think that's, that's exactly the case right here. Uh, when you advance the quill, and right here you can, s you can actually feel some, uh, some rust. Uh, well, I don't know if it's rust, but you can feel a slight, slight bit of something in here. And I think that's what made the quill stock. But now it's working, which is great. So, uh, hopefully on weekend I will do my first serious project with this, which is pretty uh, interesting, extremely interesting, but it's also very scary, because it's going to be turning these bars of aluminum which are pretty big and expensive as well, so I really don't want to screw them up. So... But uh, they will be so complex in shape that I really would like to do them on the CNC lathe. I can do them manually if I have to, but I hope I don't have to. So, I think it's been long enough again, and it's now time for you to go sleep and me to uh, carry on with one more project because I have to get that done until morning when the customer arrives. Okay, thanks for watching and until the next video, bye. And so much thanks to everyone helping me. Thank you.